was love. So nowadays there's a lot of problem about the relationship problem. So many people they come to me and a lot of uh, normally ask question or ask me to help solution. A lot of things related with the lot of romantic life, relationship, all this. I think the what Buddha said is the what happens normally when our mind look at on something. Then we zoom in whatever the situation. In English, there's one expression. We are making mountain out of molehill. Molehill is very tiny like this on the ground, but then we, we make it as the mountain, as big as a mountain, exaggerating. Why? Because there's two things in our mind, what we call aversion, and craving, grasping. So these two is like break, accelerate the, for the car. There's acceleration and the break, right? So like this two. Without this two, you cannot drive a car. So because of this two, then the car of suffering will continue. It's kind of like a trap. We are lost in the trap. The trap is aversion and craving. So I think really important to step back and first watch your breath. Because our mind focus on that situation, then you go detail, 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 then you feel like, oh, first everybody looking for Mr. Perfect and Mrs. Perfect and you know, and the end, and I found it, oh, in the end, then suddenly break the new things, end of the world. You know, now I cannot do anything. Life has no meaning. But actually not. There's no such thing as Mr. Perfect and Mrs. Perfect. Impossible. You might have Mr. Okay and Mrs. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, all this are, it's just grasping. It's just our mind um, concept. But then if you accept Mr. Okay, Mrs. Okay, a relationship is better. But if you're too tight, looking for Mr. Perfect, Mrs. Perfect, relation become worse. You cannot get together because you have so much expectation, so much hope, so much um, fear, all this together. So it's very important to, when you have this uh, emotional, back to the breath, and then see impermanent. So you need to learn impermanent. So this impermanent you can learn from the breath. You can see how the breath is changing, you know. Breath is changing second by second when you breathe in, when you breathe out. At the same time, your body is changing, your heart beating. The blood circulation is changing. All the oxygen in the body is changing. The cells in the body is changing. Not only that, that you're building, the earth, everything is changing, impermanent, impermanent. So when you see the impermanent, then aversion and craving, become less, mind become more open, more confidence, and then there's a lot of wisdom will come. When you see the impermanent, actually there's a lot of different possibilities. It's not just one, fixed, permanent, impermanent. A lot of possibilities, a lot of doors, a lot of opportunities. So life is actually wonderful, yeah.